You might be wondering what Captain Price is drinking in that cup he's got. Well, I for one know that it's Kiwi Strawberry G Fuel, which you can snag right now, alongside any other G Fuel tub, shaker cup, or starter pack, and receive a 30% discount on your order simply by using code IMMORTAL at checkout. My code is boosted to 30% off through Tuesday, so if you are looking to stock up on some G Fuel, now is the best time to do so. So, Modern Warfare, the next Call of Duty title, the ultimate game changer for the Call of Duty franchise. We finally got hands on with the game this past weekend, at least if you're on PlayStation 4 you did, and we really got to see what the game was all about in terms of graphics, movement, weapon design, and all things of that nature. Of course, this alpha was more like an appetizer if you will, since it was strictly limited to the 2v2 gunfight game mode, and thus the main course so to speak is still to come with the beta in September and the full release in October where we will be able to try out the standard 6v6 modes and experience the more traditional multiplayer alongside gunsmith and the other main features that we were not able to access in the alpha. However, despite the pretty restricted gameplay experience, we learned a lot about Modern Warfare over the course of this alpha playtest. And for many, myself included, this was the first time we got to try out Modern Warfare and form an opinion of our own. And with that, I wanted to sit down and break down my honest thoughts and opinions on MW and really dissect what I love about the game and also what I'm not too fond of either. But before we jump into all of that, if you are new here, we are about to have some spicy content on the channel in the coming days and weeks, leading up to the beta for Modern Warfare and the final operation in Black Ops 4. So if you are looking to stay up to date with everything going on in the world of Call of Duty, feel free to subscribe with your post notifications turned on, that way you'll always know when I post a new video. And of course, if you guys do enjoy this one, let me know by dropping a like rating on it as it would be much appreciated. And now let's get into my honest opinion of Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So obviously the 2v2 alpha is pretty limited in what we can actually experience, but as far as the core game goes, this playtest did give us a lot of information and definitely enough to form a solid opinion of the game in my opinion. And with that right away I can say I really, really enjoy this game. I feel like Call of Duty has always had the reputation of a game that is pretty much the same every single year, but reskinned and updated ever so slightly. But that is simply not the case this year. Despite it only being 2v2 gameplay for now, this game does not feel like Black Ops 4 or World War 2 or really any other Call of Duty title we've had before. Sure, it has bits and pieces of that classic Call of Duty feel in its roots, but this is a game that truly feels fresh and unique to me which already has me very invested in it. At the same time though, that also means there is a bit more of a learning curve to the game this year, and it's not really something that everyone is going to drop into and immediately be able to dominate on. It definitely took me a few matches to really warm up to the do's and don'ts in this game, and it really just feels more strategic than most games we've seen in previous years. So right off the bat, I do really like how fresh the gameplay feels, but that's really only the beginning. The attention to detail in this game is absurd. The lighting, the graphics, the audio, everything seems so fine-tuned and just over the top, it's honestly insane. From the shadows and reflections you'll see on your weapons, to the stitching on your watch, to the casings you'll hear fall from your weapon when shooting it, this game was tuned left and right to be as realistic as possible, and you can really tell that just by playing it for a few games and really paying attention to what's going on in the world around you. So the attention to detail is also another major plus for me with this game so far, and I'm sure that's only going to improve even more as we get closer and closer to the launch later on in October. However, all of that aside, there are also a few things about the game that do concern me a bit, and while there are plenty of things I do really enjoy about it, throughout my playtime on the game over these past few days, there are some things that I've noticed pretty frequently that I'm not really a huge fan of as of right now. The first major drawback for me is the game's consistency. There are a few things that I've picked up on that seem to either be a hit or a miss, and it's never really one or the other. Certain weapons, shotguns in particular, really seem to not have a set behavior when you're using them, and maybe that's because the attachments and the setups change, but even then, I feel like I'll use a shotgun one round and it'll perform a certain way, and then I'll use it again in the next round and it'll feel completely different. The range on the shotties is something that I find to be really really weird, as sometimes I'll be able to one shot a guy from halfway across the map, and other times I'll get a hit marker from 3 feet away. 
and that's led me to mainly run around with my secondary on the shotgun rounds to avoid that inconsistency. So that's something I really think needs to be looked into as I've experienced a lot of back and forth with the shotguns in specific, and another weapon that I just cannot stand is the M19 pistol. That thing is absolute trash. I cannot stand it whatsoever, although it did just get buffed over the weekend, so maybe it'll be better going forward, but that is a pistol that gets mad hit markers close range, and I found myself not enjoying using that one all that much. Then another huge inconsistency and probably my biggest issue with the entire alpha playtest was the audio. Now the game sounds incredible, let me say that. The weapons sound awesome, the environment sounds are really good too, but in particular, the footstep audio just seems like it's terrible. I messed around with my audio settings match after match after match, trying to figure out why I couldn't hear enemies who were sprinting right next to me. And in all reality, it's just because the footstep audio really isn't that clear in this build. However, that is another thing that is actually being fixed for the beta and for the full release, so I'll definitely be keeping my eyes, and I guess also my ears, on that once the beta drops to see if I notice any major differences, because I was truly baffled as to why one round I could hear an enemy running through a crate or sloshing through some shrubbery, and the next they would run right next to me and I couldn't hear a thing. So I'm really glad that's being looked into moving forward, and that was a huge issue I've run into so far. Then lastly for my concerns with the game, and this one is a pretty big one as well, is that of the really wonky angles that appear to be broken across various maps. I can think of multiple situations when I was getting shot from an enemy that I literally could not see because they were on a broken angle and or a broken head glitch. In specific, the stairs on King leading up to the platform in the center have a head glitch that seemingly allows the player on the stairs to see on top of the platform, but the player on top of the platform cannot see the other player's head peeking over the stairs. And the same deal goes for the ramps leading up to the wood huts on Pine. I also noticed when I would mount and lean around certain objects that I would get shot from an angle that I couldn't be spotted from, and I've seen other clips of similar instances as well. So the camera angles and or the player models don't really seem to be fully functioning from time to time. I've also run into situations where an enemy will be peeking over a head glitch and they'll shoot at me, but on my screen I can't see their chest and head, so it's like they're shooting from 6 inches above their head, which obviously makes it extremely hard to survive in that situation. But in all honesty, that's not really anything new to Call of Duty, as broken camera angles are typically a thing when we first get our hands on a new game, but usually they are fixed pretty quickly, and I certainly hope that's the case this year because these one-way angles are pretty abundant from what I can tell so far. Moving back to the positives though to close things out for today, I think probably my biggest thing that I love about this game is the fact that picking off enemies and winning games actually feels rewarding. Maybe it's just because it is 2v2 so every elimination feels like it's huge, but to me in Black Ops 4 getting a kill in Blackout or multiplayer is really just another kill. You know I can beam them with a Maddox or grab slam them or trip mine them, and I don't really think anything of it. But in this game when you win a gunfight it truly feels like you had to work to earn that elim. The TTK is so fast that you don't really have a ton of time to correct yourself if your aim is off or if you're not controlling the recoil well enough. So in situations where you hit that one dig or you get that snipe, it really does feel like you bested your opponent and that makes the game really really fun to me. With all of that being said though, those are my honest thoughts and opinions on Modern Warfare so far. Truthfully, I really enjoy the game as of right now, as it feels fresh and unique and new, and honestly, I'm really looking forward to the beta and the full release to truly experience what the regular multiplayer feels like outside of just 2v2. Obviously, there is only so much you can experience from the gunfight matches, and the real feel for the game outside of the core mechanics isn't something that I feel like we'll have until the beta is here. Anyways, that is going to effectively wrap things up for today, so if you guys enjoyed the video, let me know by dropping a like rating on it, as it would be much appreciated. And of course, if you are new here and you want to stay up to date with everything going on in the world of Call of Duty, ranging from news to updates to leaks and everything else in between, feel free to subscribe with your post notifications turned on, that way you'll always know when a new video goes live. As I mentioned in the intro, my G Fuel code IMMORTAL will get you 30% off your entire order right now, but only through Tuesday, so if you do want to snag a new tub, a new shaker cup, or a new starter pack, now is the best time to do so thanks to that increased discount. Once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.